So I'm not gonna walk through right this minute. I'm just gonna give you just a little tour. So we have 10 plus acres here. And I'll show you where we're gonna build our house at. Because that's where we usually do our shooting over in there. We do playtime over in there. I ain't deleting none of that. I'm sorry. I'm not. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you guys doing? I'm so worn out. I cannot get on camera right now. So we just got done. Well, they just got done with the remaining chickens. I left them with about three, maybe five chickens to do. Uh, and I went to go take a shower. My back is hurting. I'm tired. So if you don't know, I'm here in North Carolina uh, on the homestead that we have up here along with his parents. Um, I'm beat. So I'm gonna show you this little area if it's not too overgrown because we have to come back in the fall when some of this died down and bush hog some more it used to be a building right here like an old pig pen building and we tore that down maybe a year and a half ago i want to say something like that um i had gotten some equipment and we did that and then it was a building over there that i just walked past so we got to cut all this back down <sighs> it's so pretty and green out here though so I'm going to show you what we have to do 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 do. we got to move whatever that is I didn't bring my stick so I'm looking like what is that I'm hearing um, and I don't have my tool on me I left it should always have your tool when you're walking in the woods so that old car has to go um, all this wood we're gonna burn that we just get it and pile it up and we're gonna burn it where that wood is down there I'm gonna cut back some of the trees at least that's one option we have to i like i would like to build here just because i'm gonna see if i can show you but it's so grown up you might not be able to see the mountains sit right over there between those trees right between there is mountains and the view oh my gosh in the fall is absolutely beautiful i'm gonna come back before the fall but i'm definitely gonna record when it's fall time and we were cleaning out all of this brush but when i say the prettiest yellow and red leaves on these trees i'm serious so i just want to show you that i thought i was going to be in the ATV but they have yet to take down our chicken station which is blocking where I can drive through here in the ATV and actually go through this mess I'm not walking it because that's 10 acres I'm not doing so how are you guys doing I should have asked you that at the beginning but I'm so flipping tired but it was fun. That was my first time doing meat chickens. I think it was my husband's first time too because he didn't do so well with the cutting at first. <laughs> the slicing on the neck. 
he was dang on near cutting the neck off. But um, he got the hang of it. Yeah, they still haven't taken that down. And I would like to drive through here with the ATV. So, y'all, if I do, I'll add it to this video. If not, this is the end. And I want to say thank you so much for being here on Tommy Bites Homestead. If I can get it out on Tommy Bites Homestead, where we do gardening. And occasionally, I'm going to do a mukbang maybe once a week in between recording. With that, I want to say, remember that God loves you. I love you, but God loves you more. How about that? He created only one you. Be the best you that you could be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. With distance, peace, love, and light. Thank you so much for joining Tommy Bites Homestead. Oh, I'm trying to get some energy, y'all. I wish I brought my gun. Ooh. Not the G word, my tool from from home because that's where we usually do our shooting over in there. We do playtime over in there. I ain't deleting none of that. I'm sorry. I'm not. All right. Bye, y'all. Smooches.